Today I'm uh, featuring another one of my builds, though um, it's not totally original. There are quite a few um, of these uh, smoke leak detectors um, on the internet. I've uh, taken what I think is some of the best ideas and then I've added a few of my own. I also stayed with the 72 watts there about of heating element that's in here. So if you shoot for a resistance wire that's going to have two ohms and you're at 12 volts nominal, you're going to draw six amps and that will give you 72 watts of heat. I thought I'd made a mistake uh, following that guideline because it's a little slow, but it does, it does come out and when it, when it gets going, it's just right and the can doesn't overheat. So th that's uh, probably the right uh, kind of heat setting to shoot for. To achieve the two ohm, because I went with 18 gauge resistance wire, uh, much uh, larger diameter than most people. They, uh, most of the ones I've seen on the internet were around using 24 gauge. Uh, wire and the larger the diameter the less resistance per foot so I need about five feet of that wire to achieve two ohms. I kind of liked it because it's more rigid I mean the the whole assembly the wicks and everything else inside is suspended off that wire so I like the fact that it's a little larger but being five feet in length it means more wraps and to try and keep that uh, under control a little bit I um, I went to a larger diameter mandrel. So I started with mandrels about an inch and a quarter and I guess it sprung open to about an inch and five eighths once I did it. And uh, there's just that much more wick inside of there than, than most. More contact, I think it's pretty good. I also added a, uh, a gauge, a flow, a flow meter on here. And um, most people don't do that on theirs. And the ones that I've seen are the tubing leading to it are in the exterior of the can. I wanted a more uh, compact build, cleaner. So I kept everything inside the can. There is a, a tubing that goes from this uh, small old barbecue uh, propane regulator that I had. This one's a 90 degree one. That's why it fit like this. This bracket is only hammered out of a piece of uh, 10 gauge aluminum. Um, rubber grommets go a long way on a project like this. That's all rub rubber grommets everywhere. I also took the, um, the handle that was on this can and I made my own out of a three quarter inch strapping and it's offset a little bit. The whole idea is to try and have it so that when it's hanging like this, it, it plums, it's, uh, it's vertical, so that this gauge will work properly. Uh, so this gauge, you'll notice that there was a small uh, piece of hose on the top end that points down towards the can to help stir all the smoke around. So the pressure regulator comes down at the bottom here, the flow comes out onto that little tube and eventually makes it out through this tube here with this nozzle you end up with about 0.4 PSI of pressure from this regulator. And um, I've uh, fused um, the positive side. The positive terminal on the other side had a uh, heat shrink just to prevent accidental contact against the body on the positive side. Uh, 72 watts is pretty good. I'll show you the, the smoke it generates. And that took a little while to get to it, but um, it's just right. Nice, dense white smoke. Um, mineral oil in the bottom here, a little bit. And I made it, I don't want to have to pry open the lid. That's one of the, uh, the, the weak points on the, the paint can uh, design. Um, so I, I was really careful to make a good build inside so I don't have to go in there. And if I need to add a couple ounces of mineral oil, I can just do it through this uh, fitting. There's going to be a follow-up video on this because there's a, a thing about EVAP testing. And this is shop air in here. And uh, I think that there's uh, material for a, a good discussion on a video about using shop air on EVAP testing.
I want to thank everybody else on the internet that gave me a few ideas that I was able to use and um, adding a few of my own. And I hope that that helps you. So talk to you guys later.